I've been practicing all week, and I thought it was only 30 seconds. Uh, so as I said when we uh, introduced David Onik not too long ago, this is hallowed ground where uh, Phil Burton sat, and virtually every progressive elected official uh, has had their start. So thank you to Agar, thank you to Jane, and thank you to all of you who've supported uh, so many wonderful progressive folks. When you think about the office of sheriff, um, you don't think about what has happened in San Francisco over the last third of a century. Um, I, I'm honored to be standing by a person who I mm -hmm. personally think should be the mayor of San Francisco right now, but I won't digress. Um, the office of sheriff in San Francisco has become really a model for social change and positive criminal justice in the United States of America. And that has happened under the leadership of Mike Hennessy in ways that are remarkably profound. Uh, and if I happen to be running for sheriff and I had his endorsement, uh, I'd be very, very proud. The longest reigning current sheriff in the great state of California, my friend Mike Hennessy. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for all your work with the Democratic Party and on the Board of Supervisors. And I enjoyed working with Aaron when he was on the board. Uh, you know, um, gee, I'm here to introduce Ross Murphy. <laughs> I'm leaving after 32 years as sheriff, uh, eight elections, uh, a lot of support from people in this room. One of my first fundraisers was at Jerry Hurtado's apartment on, mm -hmm. in North Beach. Yeah. I, I ran across a picture of that yeah. the other day, Jerry. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was very tall of us. Beverly and I were both skinnier. You know. <laughs> <laughs> if she were here, I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it, you know, it's been a, it's been a great career. It's been it's been great to be involved in uh, public life in San Francisco. Uh, great to be involved in the Democratic Party and all the things that we've done here in San Francisco. Uh, the Sheriff's Department is not a small job. Uh, I've got over a thousand employees. I've got about two thousand people in jail every day. Thirty or forty thousand people go through our jail system a year. We have sixty courtrooms we, take, we provide security for. Um, we provide security in, in a whole bunch of other buildings. Um, we do evictions and have a social service programs that assist tenants. Uh, before they are forced to be evicted by a court order. Uh, so there's a, there's a lot you can do. Uh, when I started working in San Francisco, um, I was a lawyer and I represented prisoners. And Dick Angista was sheriff. And uh, Dick, of course, was a progressive and a little bit crazy, uh, <laughs> which, which made, him a, made him a perfect sheriff for me to get, get my start. With. And um, one day I went in to talk with Dick and said, uh, Dick, as a courtesy, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to sue you. And, and Dick says, oh, okay, what for? <laughs> and and uh, I said, well, the women deputies won't let a publication into the jail that uh, the, women, the women inmates want. And he says, what publication is that? And I said, well, it's one of these self-help books called Our Bodies, Ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, Many of you know that book. And, and uh, Dick said, why won't they let it in? And I said, well, they, the deputies, the women deputies say that it's going to promote lesbian conduct, and they don't want that. <laughs> and he said, well, what do our rules and regulations say about letting books like that in? And I said, you don't have any rules and regulations that cover, that cover censorship of books. And so Dick said to me, well, don't sue me. Just write a regulation, and I'll sign it. <laughs> and that sort of started me on a different path. <laughs> and, and the path, the path was to change things administratively, because I found it very frustrating as a lawyer representing prisoners, because prisoners don't have many rights. But I found that if you were in a position to to um, influence the administration that you could do a lot more. And so uh, when when the election came around in 1979 and people encouraged me to run, uh, it was kind of a wild hair that I decided to run anyway and, and I got elected and I found, in fact, that as the head administrator of a big correctional institution, you can make a lot of changes administratively. Uh, you don't have to rely on outsiders like the courts to tell you what to do. You can do them yourselves. 
so as a result, we've done a lot of things in our jail. So we, we currently have a charter high school in our jail, the only charter high school that exists anywhere in a county jail in America. Uh, we have social programs. We have post-release programs. Um, and that wouldn't happen without support from the Board of Supervisors and frequently the mayor, although not always the mayor, uh, more often from the Board of Supervisors. And when, as, as Ross uh, has been on the Board of Supervisors, he and I have worked together on, on several criminal justice projects. He's done his own uh, with foot patrol and other things like that in criminal justice. Uh, but he also was the primary sponsor, he and Chris Daly, of uh, Proposition A uh, many years ago that was going to put some money aside for anti-violence programs. Uh, the mayor opposed it at the time, and it was defeated. But after the defeat, Ross and Chris Daly put together a pot of money and gave it to uh, some to Jeff Adachi and some to me and said, come up with a community anti-violence program. Uh, the Sheriff's Department put together a program called no, the No Violence Alliance where we combined uh, the efforts of a lot of uh, nonprofit organizations to provide social services to men and women who have violent records who are getting out of custody. And this is a, you know, not your natural easy group to pick, but we said this is what we have to pick. And we couldn't have got that program started without, without Ross's support. Um, Ross has also been very supportive in creating uh, the San Francisco Reentry Council. And the Reentry Council is really sort of finding its way, but it's, it's for the first time in many, many years, uh, frankly, since the Diane Feinstein years, that all the criminal justice agencies by legislation have been brought together to meet regularly and discuss issues of commonality. Uh, and, and because of Ross's leadership that we now have a reentry council that's going to be focusing and is focusing on uh, getting resources made known to people getting out of jail and prison who are coming back into San Francisco and providing services when those services uh, are needed. And Ross has been the, the leader of that. And so uh, he's been really actively involved. And I know he's been doing all kinds of things as a district supervisor, but I want people to know that uh, he has not just been a district supervisor, he's been a supervisor that's, that's looked out for the entire city and particularly for the criminal justice system, which is unusual. Um, so Ross's background, of course, uh, is uh, he's a military veteran. He's uh, a man who uh, went to the police academy, unlike me. I never went through it. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, worked as a district attorney investigator as a peace officer for eight years and then went on to become elected official. So he's eminently qualified. He's far more qualified to be sheriff than I was when I got elected uh, 32 years ago, believe me. Uh, so um, as I looked at um, the potential of not running for re-election, I'm, of course, very concerned about this department and, and the people that it affects. Uh, and I really wanted to find someone uh, who would do uh, an outstanding job. And Ross and I had talked about this just casually over the years. Um, but once I decided that I was not going to seek re-election, he and I sat down and talked seriously about it. And so uh, he's taken the plunge. I'm very happy that he did, and I'm very proud to uh, endorse and support Ross Mercury, my candidate for sheriff. Ross. Yeah. Yeah.